Welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where it's an addendum, because it was my girlfriend and I's anniversary, and she showed me this recipe for a cake I had never heard of before, and I felt like surprising her with something called a hummingbird cake. So here's how you make a hummingbird cake. All right, so first things first, we're going to whisk together all of our dry ingredients which include one and one half cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one quarter teaspoon salt, one cup sugar, and one half teaspoon cinnamon, and then whisk as mentioned. To that, we're going to add three fourths cup oil, I just used vegetable, and two beaten eggs. Whisk together until you realize it's just easier to use your hands, and then do so. To this, we're going to add one half teaspoon vanilla, one half cup undrained pineapple, two ripe mashed bananas, one half cup pecans, crushed, chopped, whatever, and one fourth cup raisins. Mix that all together till you get your batter. Pour into a lined and greased loaf pan and put to the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 to one hour. But you're going to want to check it after 45 minutes just to see if the top is starting to brown if, and if it is. You're going to want to put some aluminum foil over the top to prevent that from burning. While that's baking in the oven, you're going to want to go ahead and make the frosting? Icing? One of the two, I don't know. Uh, in a bowl, put one half cup of softened butter with eight ounces of cream cheese. Once combined, pour in one half teaspoon of vanilla extract until that's incorporated. Then pour in uh, one cup powdered sugar and combine that all together until you get a nice little frosting. I guess it's frosting. And then finally, fold in a half cup of the chopped pecans. And once the hour or so is up and you've checked that it is done inside, pull out and let the loaf cool for probably about uh, 20 minutes before you pull it out of the pan and then let it completely cool on a wire rack. Once it's cooled, then you can go ahead and spread on your icing, frosting, whatever, and let that set. And how does this taste? Uh, I don't have any cross section for this because this loaf was a surprise. But I was a little nervous making it because I never tried this before. But as I was making it, I was thinking, you know, this is almost banana bread. And when we were having it, it's pretty much what it reminded me of, but it was really good. Uh, the only things I would probably do different is I'd let the butter soften a little bit more on the frosting. And there were a few instances of other recipes online seeing that coconut was added to the bread as well. And maybe I would probably do that next time too, but this was pretty good. I very much recommend you guys trying it too. So thank you all for watching and happy anniversary.